Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Regular scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. It's uh, June 6, 2022. Call to order at, holy moly, 6.30. The clock's on the walls, right? The matches the clock in the computer. Wow. I guess we, uh, we hit a home run today. All right. So while we actually have a, a pretty light uh, agenda for tonight, first item up is approval of minutes of May 23rd, 2022. I make a motion we approve the minutes. Seconded. Okay, have a motion made and seconded to approve the May 23rd, 2022 minutes. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Jeffrey, two zero. New business, one day alcohol license for July 23rd. Jeff, what do you got to tell us about that? Yeah, I believe we have Mr. Wartenberg on, on the Zoom. Um, he is looking to have a family party at the town park on July 23rd from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. Is that correct? Correct. Um, we checked with the uh, police chief, fire chief, building inspector, board of health, um, all of whom had no concerns. Um, and I think we can, if the select board is okay with approving it, um, we just need to, I believe, confirm the uh, distributor, right? Yeah, I told Cindy I'd send her over that information today. Great. Okay, Nathaniel and uh, Crystal, any questions? I have no, no questions. questions. So we got we went right through the process. They got the fire chief, police chief, insurance. We're all set, right? Yep. Okie dokie. Do you want to say anything on your behalf before we uh, rule in uh, this very difficult license <coughs> application? No, I think I'm good. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So, uh, any Nathaniel, Crystal, any more discussion? I have not. We could kill this for a while if you want. I don't know. If not, we could make a motion. I'll uh, motion we accept the Crystal liquor license. Crystal doesn't want to keep going. I, <laughs> I, I find that hard to believe, Crystal. Nathaniel, you got a second out of you? Seconded. All right. We got a motion made and seconded for the approval of Noah's. Uh, Family get together on July 23rd. We're looking for a one day alcohol license. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero. You got it, my friend. Have a great okay. time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You guys have a good night. You as well. Thank you. All right. Next up, um, we have a uh, board and committee reappointments. Are you ready to discuss that? I am, sure. Okie dokie. What do we got? All right. So, um, we have a list of appointments. Do you want to do the in boards and committees, um, employees, or select board on boards and committees first? Hmm. Well, do, let's do employees first. All right, so we have, is that the one, did I not print that one, of course. Um, so employees is uh, basically reappointing everybody except there is a, um, our plumbing and gas inspector resigned and his alternate has been filling in for this month. Um, we got an application um, from Mr. or expression of interest from Mr. Logren. I think that's how you pronounce it. Lo mm -hmm. Logren. Um, and he uh, is a certified plumber and pipe fitter, uh, master plumber, master pipe fitter. Um, I believe he works somewhere in Western Mass as well. Uh, yeah, he's the alternate plumbing and gas inspector in Southampton um, and has been doing that for over a decade. Um, 
so experienced. Uh, I believe he's familiar with our online permitting system as well. I think it's the same one that's used in South Hampton, or he's familiar with it um, from an, uh, from another position. But um, that's the everybody else would be um, would be a reappointment as far as uh, police officers. Um, the um, zoning and for building commissioner, uh, electrical inspector, um, highway employees, all, all the same as last year. One quick question on that. Uh, I know at town meeting we approved adding another full-time officer. Is that reflected in this or is that something that's going to not take place until a time in the future? In the future. Okay, great. Yeah, I don't see it on here yet. Right. Uh, that person has, has not been hired yet. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. So, do we uh, want to go through the names, or is it, are we all set? So, uh, my my question is, the FERCOG, the accountant, that that is who is being assigned by the FERCOG to our to our town. Town. Yes. So, David Nordstrom. Is that? Yeah. Still on the list. I'm sorry, that is not correct. That okay. is Debbie Jones. I can not get that. Okay. So let's let's go let's read them through, okay? Um so that you wanna you just wanna read through them, Jeff, real quick then? Uh yep. The account would be Debbie Jones? Yep. One I didn't print. So yes, uh, accountant would be Debbie Jones, uh, select board administrative assistant, Cynthia Bennett, um, assessor's office administrative assistant, David Zagorski, board of health agent, Stephen Ball, board of health clerk, <laughs> Cynthia Bennett, building commissioner, Tom Quinlan Jr., assistant building inspector, Mark Snow, assistant building inspector, Ron Lauren, um, Assistant Building Inspector Louis Hasbrook, Collector Treasurer Heather Davis. Um, I would be the Assistant Collector Treasurer and the Town Administrator. Interrupt me if I'm going too fast for your no, questions. This one. Uh, Steve Benjamin, the Fire Chief, Highway Department Superintendent George Emery, Highway Department Laborers Hayden Kanash and Arnold Rose. Uh, temporary Highway Laborers, Dwayne Jenks, Hanson David, Fred Laurinaitis, Peyton Emery, and Connor Wakis. Plumbing and Gas Inspector, Anthony Logren. Uh, the Alternate Plumbing and Gas Inspector, Mark Wendolowski. Police Chief, Eric D. Metropolis. So, yes. so because the Chief is contracted, do we have to put him in there every year? Uh, or should we include the dates of his contract runs, like on yours also? My understanding is that the cleanest way is to appoint them every Each year. year. Yeah. Even you know why I'm asking. Yes. Okay. Yep. And and and, and to me, it, it again, it's like it like the ch fire the police chief had a three year contract. So we're, we're appointing him, so these are year-to-year -year appointments, but he's really not. Right. Okay. He, he's a, and I, th I think that the reason that you do it is because you don't want to appoint them for three years in case they leave or they're let go. Okay. Um, all right. So. Just, I just want, all right. Yep. Right, we can go. Well. I, that's one reason I, I asked, okay? So we have to pay him for three years, but we don't necessarily have to have them as a chief for three years. Those are two separate things. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, police clerk, April Griffin. Uh, police officer, full-time police officers, Benjamin Peters, Peter Scoble, Brenda Toslowski. Uh, full-time sergeant, Brendan Lyons. Part-time officers, Zachary Smith. Gerald Beltran, Vincent Fabi, uh, Dale Brown, Benjamin Drake, J 
Jordan Zukowski and Taylor Boudry, and the animal control officer, Emmy Martin. Um, recreation coordinator, Jim Ewan, payroll clerk, Joanne Beagle, wiring inspector, Pete Murphy, and alternate wiring inspector, Bill Ehrman. Good. So you may notice that there's no, just so you know, Nathaniel, there's no fire on firefighter. Mm -hmm. Someone has a strong fire chief. The once the uh, the fire chief is the one that appoints his staff. Okay, so that's we just why, appoint him. And that's why he's does not firefighters are up on the list. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So motion to approve the appointments as presented. I motion we approve the appointment as presented with the correction for the accountant. Seconded. Okay, motion made seconded. As amended. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to... Do boards and committees not including select board? Yeah. And then, okay. Yep. So, boards and committees for 120 North Main Street Committee, we have Stuart Beckley, Mr. Fiden Kevitz is the alternate, um, Leon Markowski, Jeff O'Brien, Patricia Pattenaud, and Lauren Starr. For the Agricultural Commission, up for reappointment this year, Robert Williams and Jennifer Uncles. Anti-Harassment Officer, Elizabeth Sillen. Capital Improvement Planning Committee, Gerald Bridwell, Mike Skibiski, Peter Gagarin, Dana Roscoe, and Rock Warner. Uh, Civil Defense and Emergency Management Director, Lori Smith. Community Pathways Committee, Scott Smith, Nancy Pick, Sarah Snyder, Rock Warner. Community Preservation Committee, Megan Arquin, Stuart Beckley, Ellie Kurth, Jennifer Uncles, Helen Clark, Mike Wisseman. And then my understanding, Tom, is that you are a citizen. You're not, it's not a select board appointment, right? So, and then Tom as well as a citizen rep as a select board. Conservation Commission, two members uh, for three-year appointments, Gabrielle Kurth and Mark Zynan. Uh, Council on Aging, three-year appointments, Elizabeth Foster and LaDonna Alanik. Um, Economic Development Committee has not yep. met. Uh, no. Energy Committee, Aaron Falbell, Laura Williams, David Goodwin, and Meg Fisher. Um, for reappointment, the Franklin County Municipal, uh, excuse me, Franklin County Regional Planning Board, Mark Zynan. Uh, Franklin Technical School uh, School Committee Representative, James Bernotis. Uh, Housing Committee, Stuart Beckley and Peter Jessup. Historical Commission, Wendy Hool and Helen Clark. Heather Davis is the parking clerk. Um, Personnel Committee, George Emery, um, and Mike Wozniakiewicz. Sorry, that should have been bolded. Um, uh, South County EMS Board of Oversight, Robert Ahern. Um, Sunderland Emergency Preparedness Team, Stephen Ball, Ben Barshevsky, George Emery, Fred Laurinaitis, myself, uh, Chief Dimitropoulos, and Chief Benjamin. Uh, Town Council, KP Law, um, Veterans Agent, Upper Pioneer Valley Veterans District. Veterans Memorial Oversight Committee, Michael Ahern. Village Center Committee, Rock Warner, Jessica Skabiski, Lauren Starr. Elizabeth Sillen, Carl Fiocchi, Scott Bergeron, and Stephen Gawa. Zoning Board of Appeals, um, primary members, Stuart Beckley, Stephen Kroll, Barry Tazlowski, and associate members, Amanda Hanley, Rock Warner, and Hollis Graves. 
Good. Okay, motion. I motion we appoint as per this list displayed in front of us. Seconded. Okay, motion made and seconded to uh, accept the slate of committees and boards as as read. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. We have uh, three zero on that, Jeff. Great. Um, actually, there's one more before we get to select board, uh, which is to appoint the police officers also as alcohol enforcement officers. Yep. Um, and I'll just quickly read off the Chief D. Metropolis, Officer Peters, Officer Scoble, Officer Tozlowski, Sergeant Lyons, Officer Smith, Officer Beltran, Officer Faby, Officer Brown, Officer Drake, Officer Zukowski, and Officer Boudry. So okay. basically all the full-time and part-time officers and the sergeant and the chief. Okay. okay, motion. And motion we accept the, or we appoint the alcohol enforcement officers as presented. Okay. Seconded. We have a motion made and seconded to the appointment of the uh, alcohol as presented. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero. Okay. Next up. Next up is the select board representation on various boards and committees. Okay. So, Nathaniel, you have any... Uh, um, I wouldn't hate being on the Teacher Union 38 and Instructional Assistance Rep. That must What's be that now? The te uh, Teacher Union 38 and Instructional Assistant Rep. Okay. That one was uh, David Pierce last year. I would have yeah. to do that one. Alrighty. I have no problem staying on the ones that I am currently on. I, and I don't either. Do you want to try the, uh, the Capital Improvement Planning Committee there, Nathaniel? Sure. Yeah. Uh, and I'll also do the emergency preparedness team, which seems like that's the whole. Yes. Like board, so. <laughs> that's everybody. I'll do that one too. All right. I don't want to be the only person in town not knowing there's an emergency. <laughs> All right. Uh, it looks like the last one we have vacant is the Sunderland Ditch Committee. Um, I'll do that one also, so that we Good. can kind of share yep. the load a little bit. All right. So motion that. And then everybody else stays on. Yep. The, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Motion. I move to have us assign me to the Sunderland from Emergency Preparedness Team, Teacher Union 38 and Structural Assistance Rep, and the Sunderland Ditch Committee and the Capital Improvement Planning Committee. Okay. And um, so I'll look. All those in favor of. Or sec do you have a second on that? I can second that. All right, we have a second on Nathaniel's motion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 I'll take a S30 and I'll take a motion to appoint as presented on our list. And I will motion that um, the other committees will be as presented. Okay. Seconded. Motion made and seconded. Any further discussion? Here, no discussion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Jeff, three zero. Okay, thank you. That's the hardest part of our year. We got that. All right. All right. Jeff, what do you want to do next? Select board updates? Sure. Uh, Nathaniel? I don't have anything. Crystal? I have nothing. So at, at this time, I have a couple things. Um, one is we, we've been notified of the, uh, the passing of of the holder of the Boston Post cane in the town of Sunderland, Helen Rodak. Um, Crystal and I had one of the better parts about this position is you get to meet a lot of different people. And Helen, um, we had an oppor uh, opportunity, I think it was in February, right? To meet. Um, not meet Helen. Not meet her. Present known her. Helen for a long time, right. but in her house and talk to her and her family. And um, and I just want to say to Ronnie and his family, um, and mom, I think she's like 97 years old, and she was still working as a waitress in Demos, and um, 
and I still think she was telling Ronnie what to do right at the end. So um, she she was she was part of our town. A lot of people when I think she, I think she started demos when she was like 56 years old, 57 years old. I think Ronnie was telling us, and and so and she's been a a very valued member of our community for all those years. So I'll just take a moment of silence for for Helen. Thank you. Um, on another note, uh, things are progressing on our kayak kiosk. Yes, that was going to be one of my updates. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, just last minute punch list items, get the keys to the door, um, and then get get some kayaks for the library to, to actually start start the program. But I, um, I think they're just putting in the rack for the paddles in the closet. And uh, yeah, it's, check it out if you haven't gotten a chance. Um, I think it, they did a really nice job. And we met the deadline for applying for reimbursement. So that's Good. great. <laughs> um, so, so, so one of the things that, that um, as 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 we start as we start moving forward through this through this new year, we're trying to we, we want to remind everyone that the 120 North North Main Street is nearing completion, and I can't stress enough that the the lotteries there's 16 spots 16 apartments reserved for Sunland residents through the first round, I think. I think that's right. But, the, so if you're a Sunland resident, um, there are there are apartments that um, on the first go around, Sunland residents have priority in, in, in being assigned those apartments. So I would, I would strongly recommend that if you have any desire or thoughts or whatever to, to, to have an apartment in the, the senior housing, that you, if you want, talk to our town administrator, or you can talk to the house, the Franklin County Regional Housing Authority, to get your application. Jeff can get get you to the right people to get your applications in. But their their application, um, they their the lottery. They're going to pull the lottery. I think July twenty third, twenty second, something like that. Yeah. So it's it's in it's in the, the latter part of July. So it's about a month to get your paperwork in. Um, and again, like I said before, don't listen, don't, don't think that you are or are not qualified, fill out the application and let them tell, tell you if you are or are not qualified. And it's very important that, that if you have any inkling at all, put the application in. If you get a, if you win the lottery, you can always say, no, I've changed my mind, I don't want to, I want to be there, and they'll just draw out another person, so please. If you if you're thinking about it, please put it in. I also like to thank the town uh, for the participation in the the Memorial Day parade. It's been a few years. We've had it, but on a much much smaller scale. So I'm glad I'm glad that we're back, and and hopefully next year we'll we'll have total 100% back. So that's very good. Jeffrey, town administrator updates. Yeah, just uh, two quick things. One, I met this morning with the fire and police chiefs. Um, the air conditioner in the public safety complex, well, the whole HVA system, as frequent watchers know, <laughs> has been uh, an ongoing battle. But the air conditioner has not been working. Um, we had um, an HVAC company come in a couple weeks ago um, gave us an initial quote that didn't include prevailing wage so I sent a prevailing wage schedule um, but given the temps are on the rise I was going to ask if the select board would be willing to authorize spending up to five thousand dollars of ARPA funds um, to at least do a temporary fix so that air conditioning can go in um, and then obviously I would come back at the next meeting if it happened in between meetings and say here's what the actual cost is here's the quote here's what they did really all they're doing is taking one wire hooking it up from 
the condenser unit to and installing a thermostat in one of the offices so that it can be controlled by thermostat. Um, so, you know, without prevailing wage, I think the, the quote for everything but the electrical work was like $1,600. So I assume 5,000 should be plenty to do, to do that. Um, and in the meantime, working on a larger scale proposal that will hopefully be, is anticipated to be much more energy efficient um, and do away with the sort of massive um, HVAC system that, that was installed originally. And more on that to come once we have more information. But um, I thought that that would be, it would be easier if you're comfortable with it to pre-approve a certain amount of money so that we wouldn't have to hold an emergency meeting or they wouldn't have to wait two weeks before we could get the AC going there. Good. Now, Definitely. portable air conditioning isn't an option? I think there are only a few um, offices that have windows. Okay. So, and it also wouldn't get to like the holding cells. Okay. We don't have All right. No, I was yeah. just curious if there was a, you know, something that could happen to get an AC tomorrow, you know, or, yeah. you know, more immediate. But yeah, if that's not an option. And I think that they are working on getting a solution where you basically turn the breaker on and the AC just blows. So it can be on or off. And at least with the thermostat, it'll shut off when it reaches a preset temp. So yeah. it be a little less temporary solution but they hopefully tonight they will have some ac in the building so are they are they so they also plan on fixing the problem i mean we've had problems on there for a number of years yeah what we discussed today was that uh the system was over engineered and what they're looking at is something similar to what we have in this building with um so heat pumps and air conditioning pumps uh, with two sort of large condensers out back. Um, they said there's significant incentives for that. Um, and then depending on the cost and the timing and the amount of incentives, um, I know the energy committee would be very interested in reducing the carbon footprint of that building, uh, which we think this would do and be a good uh, green communities grant if the timing works out the, the concern would be the next grant application is in the fall would we and we don't want to be in the winter sort of messing with right. the heat yeah. and stuff so okay okay well I guess it'd be nice to do a and have it done instead of coming back every few years to to redo it. So we we I, I bet if we totaled up all the money that was spent on that building on that particular item, we'd, we'd be amazed. We would probably put another wing on there. Yeah, a, a lot, a lot, and I think that that's that was the feeling I got too. Is we've tried to fix this for fifteen years and. Um, you know, the computer that controlled the system uh, crashed, and at that point, they were like, let's just get rid of everything. <laughs> and it would be more efficient. We would you know, <coughs> save if we went full electric on oil. Um, obviously, electricity prices are going up, too, as, as we heard from the Energy Committee. Um, but it, it would be a more efficient system. Well, I just know that... that other towns that, that had the same engineering company at that time have had problems with the HVAC. So I would say that that HVAC is not that company's forte. Just put that one. So, okay. Thank you, Jeff. Any questions? Hmm. Nathaniel, how are you an HVAC guy? Uh, I, I'm not only an HVAC guy, I'm also a sweaty guy. And so I'm, I'm all about giving our employees good. <laughs> Air conditioning. I am all about that. <laughs> well, one of my concerns is that we have cells, and 
it, I, employees are important, but if you have so many in the cells, you have to maintain condition spaces for them also. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jeffrey. Do you want to vote on approving that? If you want one. If you wouldn't. You want to up not to not to exceed five thousand. Yeah. Yeah, All right. I motion vote. that we approve up to five thousand dollars from ARPA funding for a temporary fix to the air conditioning HVAC system at the town safety complex. Seconded. Okay, motion made and seconded. Um, so this would be a temporary permanent, right? I hate it. Temporary stopgap until okay. we get the permanent. Yes. All right. Any other discussion? Hearing no discussion, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero, Jeffrey. Great. And then the last thing I just wanted to update um, the complete streets that the town applied for in 2019 on South Main and the southern part of Silver Lane. Um, they came back and did the grass seeding, so we're just closing out that grant. Um, and then the work on Garage Road, widening the sidewalk there, is complete except for painting the crosswalk um, where the button ball condo entrance is. Right. So I just wanted to give those two updates as well. Did they finish the 116 work? I reached out to the engineer because um, the plans that we were given had a three foot grass strip in between the sidewalk. No, in my opinion, no. They haven't repainted the lines. They haven't done the bike lanes. Um, and I didn't see a three foot grass strip. Um, between the sidewalk and the road, right? Between the sidewalk and the bike lane, yeah. Yeah, and, and if you can figure out why they left six inches, can you let me know? It, of it, grass? It, yeah. yeah. Does it make sense? Not to me. But I, the, the one response I got was the property lines that we originally thought weren't exactly where they were, so we had to... And that's fine, but, but why leave six inches? It's not, nothing's going to grow in six inches. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, and, but, and, I, and I can understand. I believe, and I believe that. I, I don't yeah. have a problem with that. I just... Why, why, leave a, why leave a strip this wide? Okay. I don't know. But they, they did say that they were also going to, um, when they did the line painting, paint the crosswalks at the intersection of 47 and 116 because those have faded pretty significantly. Okay. All right. Okay. I, again, I, I think it's, it's wonderful. And I, I personally love to see um, I'll start exploring crosswalks along, or not crosswalks, but uh, sidewalks along Plum Tree because I Plum Tree has a lot of traffic and a lot of pedestrian traffic. A lot of pedestrian traffic. Well, yeah, and and I I'd like you know like to I just see I I you know you go like on Silver A. <clears throat> When Chip Thomas extended the the sidewalks along Old Amherst Road up to 116, there was this tremendous um, pedestrian and and pe people walking there all the time. And every time we've added, I, I'm in in we, when we added the sidewalks along 147 to to the apartments. I mean, before people were walking. In, like in the winter time, they're walking in the road. Now they're walking on the sidewalks. Mm -hmm. um, I I think it's it's been you know made the town much more walkable. The sidewalks that we put in. So I it, well same thing with the ones behind the apartments there on Hadley Road. Yep. Yeah. Having that sidewalk there is nice. It's wonderful because that was that's a real tough place. Especially with, where the dogs. bus station is also in, in okay. students walking from the Fokaro complex down to that bus station on the Old Amherst Road was a real thing too. So, exactly. Yeah, perfect. I, I agree one hundred percent. But I also like to look at lighting, especially at where where uh, crosswalks um, go across roads. Yeah, 
And we did. We reached out to the company that we purchased the lights from last time, and they haven't gotten back to us. So I asked George to look up some other companies that could offer similar lighting um, to get well, prices. Well, can we talk to the town? Does town of can we talk to the town of the hours? I think they would help do the install. Uh, yeah. they, but they could advise on where to buy them from. Yeah. Maybe we can talk to them. Yep. And and if we can't get help from them, the town of Greenfield is doing it now too. And if, and if worse comes to worse, Jeffrey, I know a guy at the university could help you. Okay. Yeah, at least get some suggestions. Of I, I just think in, in, in the photometrics today, I, I mean, when you look at when you look at when they look at the photometrics of how the they position the LEDs to, to shine on certain locations before it was just it'd be like a flood like now they can pinpoint and they can target areas so it's it's much different so okay but i'd like to continue that okay yep um, anything else nathaniel no i think i'm good crystal i'm good you know what time it is oh i make a motion we adjourn we have a motion made seconded and seconded no other discussion about keep talking for an hour or two Oh, we can if you would like. But. <laughs> Not really. Okay. All I right. didn't think so we were in your favor, people. Made and seconded to adjourn. <laughs> All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Jeffrey706. Call us out, please.